Hello, y'all. Welcome back to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Crochet from the beginning, the Towel Topper Series. When I last left you, we were down here. Uh, we were still doing our decreases, uh, two decreases on each side for each row. And I told you we're going to end up with nine stitches across the top by the time we get done. I wanted to stop here and show you what is happening with mine. Uh, right now, I have one, two, oh goodness, I can't even see to count. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, with that, when you start getting down to this point, you need to make some decisions. I have 12. If I do two decreases on each side, that'd be 11, 10, 9, 8. That's too few stitches. I want to make it as even as possible. So what I'm going to do on this row is one decrease on each side. And I'm going to put my stitch marker in the other side to remind me where I start my decreases, which is just on that last set of stitches. If I can figure out how to put a stitch marker in today. Good gravy. All right. In this one, I'm doing one crochet together, crochet two together, half double crochet. Pull through that two. Go into this next stitch, pull up one, pull through. That is that one. Now I'm going to just do half double crochets across my row. And I do love the half double crochet stitch. It's quicker than, than the double crochet. And it's much taller than a single. It's, it's just to me, it's the perfect happy medium for projects like this. And it's super easy to do. This is one, like I said before, you can do in front of your TV and not get lost with this stitch. Okay. We've met up with the stitch marker. Hello, stitch marker. Take it out, plop it aside. And I know that these two I need to crochet together yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two, go into that final stitch, pull up a loop, and go through all three. I'm going to go ahead and turn my work, and we're going to count again, just in case I miscounted the first time. It happens. Y'all been with me for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we need nine. So what I'm going to do, because if I take one off this side, I'd have to take one off this side to keep balance. So I'm just going to take one out of the middle, and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to yarn over and just start doing some half double crochets. One stitch, two, three, sorry for that bump, y'all. <laughs> four, pull out some more yarn, and now this, I think this is what we're going to do. Pull up a loop on the fifth one, go through, pull up, go through all of those, and then half double to the end of the row. Two, three, Okay, let's check our number of stitches just to make sure I haven't missed one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, definitely missed one there. That's why I go back and count. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are my nine stitches. And we are going to keep nine stitches from here on out. No more increases, no more decreases, easy peasy all the way up. I'm going to turn my work and just do some half doubles. And 
And I don't ever count the number of rows here. I kind of go by how far it folds over and how it looks. I'm going to do a few rows of just these half doubles, making sure that I have nine stitches every time. If you don't, go back and find your lost stitch, which is why I'm counting almost every row, because while I do have to frog sometimes, I like to avoid it when I can. Because, you know, frogging is apparently part of life. So I'm going to pause this and by the magic of YouTube, I'm going to have a few more rows done. Before I get too many more rows done, I want to show you one of the peculiarities of the way that I'm doing this by not chaining when I turn my work. I have eight stitches currently. My ninth stitch is down here on the side because I'm not chaining when I do my work. Now I like the edge that that gives me, the slope, if you want to chain one when you do your work so it's easier to find your stitch, that's perfectly fine. I just know that I have to go down here and tuck into that one that's off on the side a little bit. And you end up doing it on both sides, so it's not any big deal. Just make sure that you end up with your nine. Now I do want to get a, few, a little bit further up this, and we will continue from there. Voila, through the magic of YouTube. And when you get really sick of counting to nine, you might be about done. Uh, I did 13 more rows of nine, and this is how long mine is. Now what you're going to go by is where your button will probably sit. You need to see, make sure you have enough room here for it to go around your stove handle, okay? That's pretty much it. And there's gonna be some trim around it that makes it a little bit bigger. Now I'm thinking like this here, and I've lost my button, okay. Ah, it's hiding underneath my thing here. Okay. Kind of eyeball it and see where it's going to be because we haven't made the buttonhole yet. So you can just kind of set it here and go, yeah, I think that'll work. Or you can actually go lower with it, which I usually do a little bit lower. All right, I'm done. I'm done counting to nine. Well, mostly setting the button aside. Now we're going to add our buttonhole. When you've gotten to the end of one of your rows here, turn your work again. This time we're going to single crochet. Okay. This is the only row that we single crochet in except for that very, very first one where we're attaching. We're going to go three single crochets in the first three stitches. It's one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain three. One, oh goodness, I split my yarn. All right, we'll try that again. There is no shame in pulling out a stitch. All right, and starting it again. Let's try that again. We need to chain three. Okay, one, two, three. Now, since we chained three, we need to skip three. One, two, three, and in that fourth one, we're going to single crochet right back in there. And then single crochet in their final two of the nine, again with the counting to nine. Okay, that's the last one. There. We have formed our buttonhole, but we're not gonna leave it with just that little bit. We're gonna turn our work Pull out a little more yarn, of course. And we're going to half double all the way across, okay? All right. Just making sure I had all of my stitches sorted there. One. Two, three. Now, when I get to this chain three, do I go into each individual stitch? No, I'm too lazy for that. I'm just going to crochet into the loop. Half double, of course. So we go one, two, and three. And then half double into the rest of your stitches in the row, which should be three more stitches. One, 
two and three. And that's nine stitches across the row. There you have it. Buttonhole. And this is how it's going to be with it, except for the trim. We have not gotten to the trim yet, so there is more. And we'll do the trim and add the button next time. Thanks for coming by to uh, crochet from the beginning from me, Deborah, and uh, appreciate it. And let's get this towel wrapped up next time. Bye now.